Now to a developing story after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank on Friday, another bank just shut down. Regulators today abruptly closed Signature Bank. It has offices throughout New York and Connecticut. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more on how the feds are responding to protect deposits. Citing systemic risk, regulators shut down Signature Bank Sunday. The company told us no comment. The New York-based full-service commercial bank has 40 private client offices. This is a byproduct of what we saw with Silicon Valley Bank, the Federal Reserve, the FDIC, and the Treasury uh, step in and, and provide assurance that things like uh, uninsured deposits will be available to depositors on Monday morning is to prevent more of these. Uh, that was really the real risk, uh, is that uh, uninsured depositors at any bank could start stampeding to their bank to take money out. The Wall Street Journal reported that Signature was reeling from a bet on crypto banking. Earlier Sunday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen addressed the FDIC seizing control of California-based Silicon Valley Bank on Friday. It's the second largest bank collapse in U.S. history and is already affecting tech businesses it financed, including Roblox, Etsy, and Roku. It sparked alarm about reverberations amid rising interest rates. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. The American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized. It's resilient. The Treasury Secretary ruled out a bailout for Silicon Valley Bank. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and New York City Mayor Eric Adams responded to the Fed's announcement to make customers whole with SVB. We don't have a whole lot of exposure to, to SVB per se, mm -hmm. but we do have a lot of tech companies. So our Economic Development Authority is preparing a package largely focused on liquidity uh, to be there in case we need to be there. There's a real concern particularly because in New York, we have such a substantial number of tech startups. We are going to have a coordination with the federal government, uh, the state, as well as here in the city to be a conduit of information. Monday, President Biden will deliver remarks on the situation with both banks. He said it will address how the country will maintain its banking system to protect economic recovery. In the newsroom, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.